Good afternoon, Jamestown Jackals fans. Norm Rodriguez here once again. No Jeremy Becker today due to commitments for his job of work. Today, your Jamestown Jackals take on the Dubois Dream, coming to you live here at the Phys Ed Center at Jamestown Community College. Jackals have yet to lose here at home, and they hope to continue that streak today. We have got the starters for your Jamestown Jackals today. Charles Thomas, Daniel Malamba, Latrell Alford, Alabama's finest, Leventris Gray, and Michael Davenport. Starters for the Du Bois Dream are Corey Callejas, Hassan Dixon, DeAndre Terrell. We will have the other two in just a moment. Trey Johnson, and David Blanks, starters for the Du Bois Dream. Jump ball will be Trey Johnson for Du Bois and David Malambo of your Jamestown Jackals. Jump ball is won by your Jackals. Michael Davenport makes the catch and gets it to Charles Thomas. Thomas finds Latrell Alford at the wing, picks up a screen from Gray. Little pick and pop maneuver. Gray has the ball. Little jumper bounces off for the rim and rebounded by Hassan Dixon. Pass the center line for the dream. Finds DeAndre Terrell over to David Blanks. Blanks finds Dixon in the key and finds Callejas for three. Falls off the side of the rim. Thomas with the rebound past half court. Finds Davenport. Davenport puts up a three off the side of the rim and rebounded by Hassan Dixon. Dixon takes a pass half court, tries to go coast to coast. And a nice pass to DeAndre Terrell. And the Dream score first blood here today, 2-0. To Thomas gets a screen from Malamba. Puts a shot up off the rim. Tip drill by Malamba, no good. Thomas gets the rebound. A little trick pass to Davenport, but the ball is stolen by the Dream. David Blanks with the ball. Finds Hassan Dixon. Dixon drives into the paint. DeAndre Torrell had it, lost it. Malamba recovered the ball, and Davenport has it now for your Jackals. Gray puts up a three-pointer, bang! Off the assist from Michael Davenport. They don't call Gray Alabama's finest for nothing. Jackals take their first lead of the game, three to two. Callejas with the ball, puts a mid-range jumper up off the side of the rim, rebounded by Gray. Gray finds Davenport, but Davenport to Alford, it is showtime! The shot goes in off another assist from Davenport on the fast break. Hassan Dixon with the ball now for the Dream, looking to get a counterattack. Finds DeAndre Terrell. Terrell at the top of the key, finds David Blanks. Blanks looking for some space, drives into the paint. Ball is caught out of the air by Malamba. Ball goes to Charles Thomas, past center line, finds Michael Davenport. Davenport drives into the paint, and the shot rattled off the rim, but goes in anyway. A many run already for the Jackals. Thus far, seven to two, nine and a half left in the first quarter. Hassan Dixon with the ball, finds Callejas, thought about shooting the ball, passes it back to Dixon, and the shot rattles in off the assist from Callejas. Charles Thomas with the ball now, calling a play for the Jackals. Finds Michael Davenport on the wing, over to Malamba on the post. Davenport from, takes the handoff, drives paint, puts an elbow shot up, and it goes in. Great display of patience by Jackal offense. David Blanks with the ball now for Du Bois. Finds Corey Callejas in the wing. 
Three ball corner pocket for the dream off the back of the rim and rebounded by Gray. Charles Thomas with the ball now. Finds Latrell Alford. Alford thought about the three. Puts a long range two pointer up off the back of the rim and rebounded by DeAndre Terrell. Ball goes loose, recovered by Thomas. A two on one finds Alford and the shot is good. Making the score 11 to four. An 11 2 run by the Jackals thus far. Let's see if the Jackals can continue it. Trey Johnson finds David Blanks on a little roll maneuver and the shot's good. Davenport with the ball now for the Jackals. Picks up a screen from Malamba and we have got our first foul of the game. It's going to be on DeAndre Terrell. Off to a fast and furious start here at the Phys Ed Center. Latrell Alford with the inbound. Charles Thomas gets open and has the ball, finds Davenport. Davenport finds Malamba in the post, and we have got a jump ball. Good display of defense by Hassan Dixon, and we're going to have a jump ball. Jump ball's won by the Jackals. Caught out of the air by Davenport. Fights Thomas for three. Bang! A catch, pass, shoot maneuver works. 14 to six. Blanks with the ball for Dubois. Looking to make a play. Finds Callejas. Three pointer. It looked like it was deflected. Davenport with the save. But the ball rolls out of bounds. It will be Dubois' ball. Jamestown Jackals off to a fast start here this afternoon. Hassan Dixon with the inbound. Ball was tipped and it rolls out of bounds. It's going to be Jackals ball. First substitution of the game, Brandon McCluster coming in for Latrell Alford. Michael Davenport on the inbound, gets it to Charles Thomas. Looking to run a play. Finds Malamba at the top of the key. Hand off to Davenport. Davenport with a little maneuver. Drives into the paint. Puts a layup up. And what a shot over two defenders. 16-6. Under seven and a half left in the first quarter. Hassan Dixon finds DeAndre Terrell. The three-pointer was off the back of the rim. Recovered by McCluster for the rebound. Finds Davenport, top of the key, trying to drive into the paint. Malambo recovers a loose ball, and a slam dunk. Good court vision by Malambo to see that loose ball and take the two points. 18-4 run for the Jackals in the last three, four minutes. Dixon with the ball for the dream. Drives into the paint. Finds Trey Johnson for the two points. Making the score 18 to eight. Thomas takes the ball past the center line. Finds McQuester, McQuester top of the key, three pointer, bang! Off to a hot start shooting the trifectas. 21 to eight, under six and a half left in the first quarter. Three pointer by Dubois and they answer right back. DeAndre Terrell answers back with a three-pointer of his own. Thomas with the ball now for the Jackals. David Blanks under the fence. Screen from Malamba finds Gray in the elbow. Gray loses the ball and it's recovered by Hassan Dixon. Pass half court. Finds Terrell for the easy two points. And a timeout has been called by the Jackals. 5.52 left in the first quarter. Jackals are ahead 21 to 13. Jackals off to one of their fast starts as they have done every home game thus far this season. Fast and furious. And if they see an open shot, they are not afraid to shoot it. And while we also have this break in the action, a couple of NHL trades. Rick Nash of the Rangers just got traded to the Boston Bruins for a first-round draft pick. 
He will make his Bruins debut today against the Buffalo Sabres. I'm not sure if Sabres fans should be worried or not, but either way, if they can stick with Linus Olmark, if they could bring him back up, they could actually win some games because according to some fans' opinions and team opinion and player opinion probably, Leonard has just not panned out as the goalie for the Sabres. There has not been a decent one ever since Ryan Miller was traded to the St. Louis Blues. Jonas Enroth didn't pan out, and Leonard is just basically history repeating itself on behalf of Enroth. Couple more substitutions for the Jackals. Xavier Chernak and Damian Harris coming in. We also have a couple substitutions for the Dream. Albert Varacayo III is in, as well as Sam Rosselli. Charles Thomas with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Davenport on the wing, hands off to McQuester. McQuester picks up his dribble, finds Davenport. Davenport with a long-range two-pointer off the side of the rim. Tried to recover his own rebound, but the ball goes out of bounds, and it will be Du Bois' ball. DeAndre Terrell with the inbound for Du Bois, looking to find somebody open. Finds Louis Condi, another substitution for Du Bois. Condi takes a pass half court. Charles Thomas on the defense. Finds Trey Johnson in the top of the key, and he finds DeAndre Terrell, but the shot falls off the back of the rim. Harris had the rebound, but he got poked out. Condi with the ball for Du Bois, and he finds Trey Johnson for a fast break, two points. Things getting interesting here in this first quarter, 21-15. to Du Bois on a little mini run of their own now. Harris with the ball for the Jackals, and we've got an offensive foul. It's going to be on Charles Thomas. Terrell with the inbound to Louis Condi. Charles Thomas under the fence, past the center line, finds Albert Varacayo, finds Terrell at around the top of the key. Hands off to Varakayo under 10 seconds left in the shot clock. They better put a shot up quick. A little forward jumper, but the shot falls off the rim. McQuester with the rebound. Past the center line. Got Harris at the corner. Sets a take into his own hands, and he scores. Great job by them converting on the fast breaks thus far. Du Bois takes the ball past the center line. Picks up the dribble. Varakayo gets the ball in the corner. Terrell puts up a three-pointer off the back of the rim, rebounded by McQuester. McQuester takes it past half court, finds Chernak, but the ball, well, the pass was a little too strong, and it rolls out of bounds. Another substitution coming in for the Jackals, Maceo Wolford coming in for Charles Thomas. Louis Condi calling a play for Du Bois. Finds DeAndre Terrell. Varakayo at the wing, and what a pass to Condi. A good display of court vision to get those two points. Under four minutes left, 23-17 to 17 is your score now in favor of the Jackals. Maceo Wolford with the ball, looking to find an open man. Finds Damian Harris at the wing. Harris tried to find Davenport in the post. It's going to be Du Bois' ball. A heads-up play by Varakayo to spike the ball off a Jackal player and have it go out of bounds on them. Stolen by Davenport off the inbound, and the shot is good. Good display of hustle by Davenport, showing why he was Rookie of the Year two years ago for the Premier Basketball League. And Wolford nearly gets a steal. And Davenport recovers the ball. Tried to find Chernak. And a save by Terrell from going out of bounds. Terrell finds Condi. Their pass half court. Finds Varakayo at the corner. Over to DeAndre Terrell. Terrell looking for someone to pass to. Picks up a screen from Trey Johnson. Juggled the ball, but he recovers and scores. 
Two minutes, 48 seconds left in the first quarter. 25 to 19, Jackals are ahead. Maceo Wolford with the ball. Finds Brandon McQuester, left alone for three. Off the front of the rim, rebounded by Varakayo. Louis Condi with the ball off the pass. Finds DeAndre Terrell at the wing. Var, excuse me, <laughs> Sam Roselli at the post, but goes back to Terrell. Terrell finds Condi. Three on one, but there's a foul. And we have got ourselves a media timeout. 2.17 left in the first quarter. The score remains 25 to 19. The Du Bois Dream have done a good job thus far with displaying the hustle and finding the open lanes to get the easy baskets. If they can keep this up, this could be a close game here at the Phys Ed Center at Jamestown Community College. As for the Jamestown Jackals, same old stuff but a different game. Fast and furious, pedal to the metal and not turning off the intensity. We will see what the rest of this first quarter has in store for everybody here. With baseball season just starting, J.D. Martinez is about to get his contract restructured with the Red Sox after the pending results of his physical that he had to take prior to joining the ball team. We've got ourselves a decent turnout here on a Sunday afternoon at the Phys Ed Center. Some people do have things to do on the weekends. Others like to take the time and come to events like this. We do appreciate the fans that do come over. With the timeout over, Varakayo with the inbound for the Du Bois Dream finds Corey Callejas at the corner. Back to Varakayo, decides to pass it to Hassan Dixon to run a play. Finds Varakayo, wing three-pointer, and the shot's good. 25-22 now, two minutes left in the first quarter. Maceo Wolford with the ball, finds Latrell Offord at the wing. To Leventris Gray at the top of the key. Looking to find someone to pass to, finds Brandon McQuester. Picks a screen up from Gray, a little pick and pop, decides to shoot the ball, and a swoosh a -roo. Hassan Dixon with the ball for the Du Bois Dream. Fakes a pass to Callejas. Finds Roselli. Over to Dixon. The shot fell off the rim. Chernak fights for the rebound. We've got ourselves a little scuffle. And we have got a jump ball before Du Bois can call a timeout. Another substitution for the Du Bois Dream, Marvin Harris coming into the game for Trey Johnson. Trey Johnson earning himself a well-deserved rest for Du Bois. Doing work in the post and finding open lanes to get some easy two points. Jump ball be Sam Roselli and Xavier Chernak. Jump balls won by the Jackals. That's the second one they've won today. McQuester past the center line. Picks up the dribble, finds Wolford at the corner, finds McQuester in the elbow, and the shot is good. Off the assist from Wolford. 29 to 22, a little over a minute left in the first quarter. Du Bois Dream take the ball past half court, screen from Marvin Harris. Varakayo picks up the dribble but finds Callejas. Callejas manages to find Hassan Dixon, but we have got a foul, and it's going to be on Levin Tris Gray.
As some Jackal fans know, Levin Triss, also known as Lee Gray, was the coach of the Jamestown Jackals in the expansion season when it was in the Premier Basketball League. He also played a couple games as well for the team, but was mainly known to be coaching. And now he is back full-time for this team as a player. And Jackals are more than happy, most likely, to have him back. Inbound to Hassan Dixon. Screen from Marvin Harris. And what an execution of taking the screen and scoring. Brandon McQuester with the ball now for the Jackals. Finds Latrell Alford on the wing. Lost the ball, and it's going to remain Jackals' ball. According to the official, it hit off Callejas' foot. Alford with the inbound, finds Maceo Wolford to McQuester. McQuester puts up a wing three. Flush! The Royal flush goes into the net, making it 32-25. to Du Bois cannot run out the full clock. There's a five-second difference between the shot and the game clock, but they can get one more shot before the end of the period. Dixon gets a screen, drives into the paint, finds Callejas at the wing. Wolford on the defense. Callejas picks up the dribble, got into trouble, but finds Varacayo. Time was running out in the shot clock, but they're going to get a foul. It's going to be on Maceo Wolford. Little over eight seconds left in the first quarter, 32 to 25, a high scoring first period. Varakayo looking to find someone to pass to, finds Marvin Harris. Harris finds Dixon, under five seconds now, they better do something quick, ball goes out of bounds, Jackals ball. 2.9 seconds left, they will have a chance to run a play. Chernak with the inbound, finds Wolford. Wolford puts a half court shot up. Too strong, hits off the glass, and that's the end of the first quarter. Your Jackals are ahead, 32 to 25. A high scoring first quarter for both teams, taking advantage of fast breaks, finding open lanes, doing their L cuts, pick and rolls, pick and pops, doing everything short, sweet, and to the point, and it is producing great results for both teams thus far. We will most likely see more of that going into this second quarter. During the in-between parts of these games, we do have a cheer squad and we have a pep band from Jamestown High School that's here today. I believe they'll be doing a halftime performance, but I am not fully sure on that. Speaking of being in basketball right now, NBA playoffs are approaching. Many people are probably predicting the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers for a 3 P in the NBA Finals. But seeing what's been going on, I personally don't believe that's going to happen. The Cavaliers have had an unusually abnormal amount of losses as they have in previous years. One part of that could be Kyrie Irving requesting a trade and getting it granted going to the Boston Celtics, but he has really looked good there this season in spite of Gordon Hayward's season-ending injury he suffered back on opening night for the Celtics. But he still has a good supporting cast around him, and we will be opening the second quarter. Du Bois with the ball. Letting the ball roll a little bit. Picked up by Hassan Dixon. Latrell offered on the defense, finds Callejas on the wing, puts a three-pointer up. Nothing but net on that three. Inbound goes from Alford to Gray, back to Alford. Alford pass half court onto the wing, picks a screen up from Gray, drives into the paint, finds Malamba. And we have got an offensive foul. It's going to be on Latrell Alford. <clears throat> Varakayo on the inbound finds Hassan Dixon. Dixon rapidly going past half court, finds Callejas, wing three-pointer. 
Not this time. Rebounded by Marvin Harris. Falls off the rim and rebounded by Malamba. Finds Alford over to Damian Harris. Harris puts a three-pointer up. Bang! Answers right back with a three-pointer of his own. We've seen quite a few of those, and it's not even the end of the first half yet. 35 to 28, a little over 11 minutes left. Dixon with the ball, puts a shot up off the back rim, gets his own rebound. Decides to cut back and run a play. Finds Marvin Harris on the post, finds Varakayo, does a little shot fake, goes back into the elbow, but finds Callejas on the wing. Callejas picks the dribble up, but McCluster was all over him. Timeout has been called. 10.48 left in the first half. 35 to 28 Jackals. Continuing on with Kyrie Irving. He's had a good supporting catch throughout the season with the Celtics. With Al Horford, up-and-comer Daniel Tice from Germany. Aaron Baines good at clearing out the boards as the center. He's got himself a good supporting cast, and he's also got a couple good rookies. Jalen Brown is a good ball player for the Celtics. But I'm sure Cavaliers fans were sad to see him go, but he must have felt from his rookie year when LeBron left for Miami that it was his team, and then when he came back, he was thrown in the back seat and wasn't really too happy about it, most likely. But nonetheless, he's got a team now in Boston, and we could see them in the NBA Finals this year, but we will just have to wait and see. And I've said this before, and I'll say this again. One team to look out for in the future, the New Orleans Pelicans. Despite DeMarcus Cousins' season-ending injury, they've still got Anthony Davis. They picked up Nikola Mirotic in a trade from the Chicago Bulls. They also got experience in the point guard in Rajon Rondo, Drew Holiday. And they've also got a good bench that can produce when it's needed. So the next couple years, I could see them in a deep playoff run as well. Varakayo with the inbound for Du Bois. Looking to find someone open. Look, still looking for somebody. He manages to find Marvin Harris. Back to Varakayo. Varakayo puts up a long two pointer at the top of the key off the rim. Rebounded by McCluster. McCluster takes it past half court. Finds Damian Harris at the wing. Drives into the paint. Finds Malamba. And he's going to be shooting too. Over the recent games, he has improved on free throw shooting. But the main thing he's good at is getting rebounds, slam dunks, and blocking shots. First free throw attempt by Malamba is good. First free throw attempt of the game by either team. Couple substitutions, DeAndre Terrell and Trey Johnson coming back in for the dream in place of Harris and Rosselli. Second free throw attempt is good by Malamba. 37 to 28, 10 and a half left in the first half. Hassan Dixon with the ball for Du Bois. Picks up his dribble, Alford on him like glue, but he manages to find Johnson back to him. Finds DeAndre Terrell at the key to Callejas of Arcaio. Everyone touching the ball in this possession. Callejas puts up a three pointer. Foul's been called on McCluster, and Callejas will be shooting three. McCluster doesn't agree with the call, but it's already been made. First free throw attempt by Callejas is good, making it 37 to 29. From what we've seen, Callejas is not afraid to shoot the deep three-pointer no matter how long it is. Second free throw is nothing but net, making it 37-30. Michael Davenport coming back in for Latrell Alford. Alford, as we jackal personnel know, the king of throwing the Hail Mary passes. 
third free throw attempt by Callejas is good. All three are in. 37-31, Damian Harris with the ball, finds McQuester. McQuester receiving a double screen, takes the one from Gray. Now picks up one from Malamba. Picks up the dribble, finds Harris at the wing. Finds Malamba at the elbow. Almost lost his footing, but his shot rattles off. Rebound, McQuester. Juggled the ball, and he could not recover. Hassan Dixon looking to run a play. Finds DeAndre Terrell to Varakayo at the wing. Finds Johnson in the post. Turn around jumper. Off the rim. Rebounded by Harris. Harris drives in the paint and draws a foul. Trying to go coast to coast. Foul's going to be on Hassan Dixon. Dixon didn't seem happy about the call. Nonetheless, Harris will be shooting two. First free throw attempt rolls in. Harris, one of those good bench players that's willing to do any kind of the dirty work. Second free throw shot is good, making it 39 to 31. Nine and a half left in the first half. Farakayo with the ball for Dubois on the wing, puts a three pointer up off the back of the rim, rebounded by McQuester. Finds Davenport, but the pass is too high. A good idea, but the pass was just a bit long in length. Inbound to Varakayo to Terrell to hit Dixon. Already everybody touching the ball in this possession. Dixon drives into the paint, off the front of the rim, but will be shooting too. Foul's going to be on Damian Harris. First free throw attempt, rattles off the rim. Second free throw attempt, goes in, one for two for Hassan Dixon, making it 39-32. McQuester with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Michael Davenport on the wing, back to McQuester, but the ball was tipped. McQuester saying it hit off Varakayo, but the ref says it hits off McQuester. Refs had a little conference and have changed the call. Will remain Jackal's ball. So McCluster wins his case. Substitution for the Jackals. Charles Thomas coming in for Damian Harris. Davenport on the wing. Finds McQuester, three-pointer off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Callejas over to Dixon. Dixon going coast to coast, but draws the foul. Dixon will be shooting two for the dream. First free throw attempt. Rolls out of the rim. Second free throw attempt. Once again, one for two for Dixon. 39-33. Things getting interesting here at the Fazette Center. Charles Thomas with the ball. Picks up a screen from Malamba. Puts a little teardrop up, too strong. Dixon with the rebound, past half court. Finds Varakayo, left alone for three. Flushes in. A nice assist off that play. 39 to 36, Dubois giving a ball game. Thomas with the ball, gets a screen from Gray. Dixon was not fooled, but finds Gray on the wing. Post goes Malamba, puts a shot up, and it goes in off the assist 
from Gray. Dixon finds Terrell. Long two-pointer off the back of the rim, rebounded by Malamba. Malamba making himself busy on the boards tonight. Lequester with the ball. Finds Davenport, long range two pointer off the rim. Malambo with another rebound. Looks as though he finds Thomas, long three pointer, too strong. Rebounded by DeAndre Terrell. Finds Dixon. Dixon picks up a screen from Johnson, nearly lost the ball, but recovers. Finds Johnson, elbow jumper, and it is good. Despite defense from Malamba, the shot goes in. 41 to 38, 7 10 left in the first half. Charles Thomas finds Leventris Gray. McCluster puts up a three pointer, too strong. Rebounded by Trey Johnson and finds Dixon to Varakayo. Another three pointer off the back of the rim. Tip drill attempt by Callejas, but it doesn't work. Couple more substitutions. Harris and Wolford coming in for your Jackals. Davenport with the inbound. Does a little roll to Wolford. Wolford takes it past the center line. Calls a play. Finds Harris at the wing. Harris with a free throw length jumper. Rattles off the rim. Foul's going to be on Dixon. Foul attempting to go for the missed shot. Davenport with the re or excuse me with the inbound for the Jackals. Ball stolen by Dixon. He was not fooled, and he gets the fast break slam. Forty-one to forty. Little under six and a half left in the first half. Wolford with the ball for the Jackals. Screen from Gray. Finds Malamba at the top of the key. A nice fake. An offensive foul on Malamba. DeAndre Terrell with the ball for the dream. Davenport on the defense, picks up the dribble and finds Dixon. Screen from Johnson. Callejas with the ball for the dream. Lost the ball, recovers, finds Terrell blocked by Malamba. Ball recovered, no, rolling around. Jackals ball. What a display of hustle, though, by both teams. But in the end, the favor goes to the Jackals. 5.51 left. The score remains 41-40. to Wolford with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Leventris Gray on the on the key. Finds Harris. Harris fakes a shot. Finds Gray. Gray thought about the three. Finds Wolford. Wolford nearly traveled, but finds himself. Shot off the rim. Rebounded by Davenport. Puts a shot up, and it rolls in. Turning, the, turning those rebounds into second chance points. Varakayo with the ball for the dream. Score now 43 to 40. Picks up the dribble but finds Terrell. Trey Johnson at the free throw line. 
Free throw length shot off the back rim, rebounded by Davenport. Gets it to Wolford, that already passed half court. Finds Malamo, gets it to Harris at around the wing. Finds Wolford. Wolford for three. Off the rim, rebounded by Gray with a save caught by Harris. And a foul has been called. Harris will be shooting two. First free throw attempt by Harris is good. Xavier Chernak coming in for the Jackals in place of Gray. As a lot of JCC students know, Chernak's one of the assistant coaches of the JCC men's basketball team. Second free throw attempt is good. Two for two for Damian Harris, making it 45 to 40. Barakayo with the ball for the dream screen from Johnson. Finds Terrell, long two-pointer at the top of the key, and we've got a foul. Foul's going to be on Malamba. And DeAndre Terrell will be shooting too. First free throw attempt. Bounces off the back rim and out. Another substitution coming in for the Jackals. Latrell Alford coming back in, in place of Malamba. And Malamba has earned himself a well-deserved break and rest. Second free throw attempt. Both are no good. Rebounded by Harris. Finds Maceo Wolford. Skip past the Davenport. Back to Wolford. Wolford at the top of the key finds Harris. Back to Wolford. Wolford, long two-pointer, good! A 6-0 run for the Jackals thus far in the last couple minutes, 47-40. DeAndre Terrell with the ball, finds Varakayo. Turns down a screen from Johnson, finds Callejas. Two-on-one on him, finds Terrell. Wolford on him like glue. Finds Callejas, thought about the three, decides not to shoot it, finds Dixon. Shot clock expires off the glass in a 24-second shot clock violation. 3.36 left in the first half, 47-40. Jackals are ahead of the dream. Wolford with the ball, finds Davenport on the wing. Finds Harris, Harris thought about the three, drives into the paint, finds Alford. Draws the foul, though, and Alford will be shooting, too. First free throw attempt by Alford is good, making it 48 to 40. 324 left in the first half. Alford's second free throw attempt is good. Two for two. 8-0 run for the Jackals, making it 49-40. Under three and a half left in the first half. Dixon with the ball for the dream. Looking to find somebody, finds Terrell. Terrell driving in. Ball poked away by Harris, but recovered by Terrell. Shot off the front rim. Chernak with the rebound. Chernak taking it across the court, finds Maceo Wolford. Wolford drives into the paint. And a, what a way to do the fast break. Chernak to Wolford, 51 to 40. Dixon finds Terrell, shots good. Nice look by Dixon to get that assist. Wolford with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Alford on the wing, finds Chernak, turnaround jumper, too strong. Rebounded by Varakayo. Varakayo drives into the paint, coast to coast, but doesn't get it. Alford with the board, finds Davenport. 
Two on one. Shot will not count. He won't get the continuation. Foul's going to be on Corey Callejas. <clears throat> Substitution, David Blank's about to come in for the Du Bois dream. 2.15 left in the first half. Jackals are ahead 51 to 42. In spite of a nine point lead, the Dream are giving the Jackals a ball game. The Dream do have raw potential of their own and they're not afraid to shoot the three pointer and they know how to find the open lanes and the open gaps. This is what's making this game closer compared to any other home game during the season for the Jackals. Another new story, though it's old news, Dwayne Wade's return to the Miami Heat. He's been playing off the bench, but I'm sure he's happy that he's back to where he started from in the NBA. He's only had a handful of games there since he got traded from Cleveland, but he's making his minutes count even though he is now 36 years old. Another team that will most likely break their playoff drought, the Minnesota Timberwolves, in spite of Jimmy Butler being out indefinitely to have surgery for a torn meniscus that he suffered. But they still got talent in Jeff Teague, the cat man, Carl Anthony Towns. They've also got a good bench picking up Jamal Crawford during the offseason. They've also got Gorgie Jang, who's one of the more experienced ball players for the team. Great defensive player, and he's not afraid to shoot the three-pointer if he sees it open. There's many big men in the NBA nowadays that are not afraid to shoot it from around 23 feet long. Nonetheless, Jackals will be shooting free throws. First free throw attempt by Davenport is good, 52 to 42. Second free throw attempt by Davenport off the front of the rim and rebounded by Dixon. Finds David Blanks. Blanks looking to get something going for the dream. Finds Varakayo on the wing. Alford all over him, finds Trey Johnson. Johnson drives into the paint, bobbles the ball, but what a recovery, but Alford with the re rebound off the miss. Finds Wolford on the wing. Long two-pointer up, and it is good. Off the assist from Alford, and he didn't even need to throw a touchdown pass to get an assist. Callejas with the ball for the dream. Finds Trey Johnson. Callejas gets it back, three-pointer, and that shot's good. Cutting it back to single digits. 54 to 45, a minute and a half left in the first half. Wolford with the ball, finds Alford on the wing. Over the Chernak on the top of the key. 18 footer and the shot's good. 56 to 45, Blanks with the ball for the dream. Driving into the paint, coast to coast and it goes in. Despite two bigger men on him, he's able to make the shot. Wolford finds Alford on the right wing. Finds Davenport in the post, turns around, puts the shot up off the side of the rim. Blanks with the ball for the dream. Finds Varakayo, wing three-pointer. Rattles off the rim. Chernak tried to get the rebound, but it hits off Wolford's chest, and it's going to be the dream ball. Leventris Gray coming back in for the Jackals in place of Davenport. Davenport doing the all-around work thus far today. Varakayo looking to find somebody, finds Trey Johnson, finds Dixon on the left wing. Varakayo, corner pocket three, and it rolls in. 
56 of 50, 43 seconds left in the first half. Maceo Wolford with the ball for the Jackals. Skip past the Levitris Grafe, shot fake. Finds Harris, Harris a wing three-pointer off the front of the rim and off the back. Blanks with the ball for the Dream. Looking to find somebody. Finds Callejas over to Varakayo. Thought about the three, drives into the paint. Good display of Jackal defense, but it will remain Dubois ball. Dubois can actually run the clock out now and take the last shot of this first half. There's, there's been a correction by the officials. It's going to be Jackal's ball. So the Jackals can get the last shot of the first half here. Damian Harris letting that ball roll a little bit. Picks it up. Picks up a screen from Wolford. Finds Alford. Alford deciding to kill a little bit of the clock. Drives into the paint. Finds Gray. Gray thought about the three. Three seconds left. Puts an elbow shot up off the rim. Wolford gets the board. Puts it up. And it is in. That shot will count. What a display of knowing the time left by Wolford. And what a way to end the first half. Jackals ahead 58-50. to But the Du Bois Dream are giving them a ball game and a run for their money. Some pointers that we've seen from the first half. Both teams not afraid to shoot the deep ball. Both teams love to do the pick and roll. Love to do their cuts, find the open lanes, get the layups, get the two points, draw the fouls, shoot the free throws. Both teams know what they're doing, which is what is keeping this game close thus far. We are back here at the Phys Ed Center to start the second half. Jamestown Jackals ahead 58-50, to fresh 12 minutes on the clock. Du Bois' dream not going gently into that good night, giving the Jackals a ball game. And the start of the second half is underway. David Blakes with the ball for the Du Bois' dream. McQuester on the defense, finds Callejas on the wing. Over to Dixon, and Alford recovers the ball, and it is showtime. Lead back up the double digits, 60 to 50. Not even 30 seconds into the third period. Hassan Dixon with the ball for the dream. Two on one. Three pointer off the rim. By, the shot was by Blanks, but the offensive rebound and the score for the dream. Brandon McQuester with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Malamba on the post. Shot fake, and he uses it to perfection to get the two points. Malamba having another Bamba. Blanks with the ball, tries to drive, but gets no room. Terrell with the ball, finds Callejas. Watch out, he's going to, oh, he will shoot that three-pointer. Rolls out of the rim, rebounded by Alford. Alford past the center line. Finds Davenport, three ball near corner pocket off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Blanks, finds Dixon. Dixon finds Callejas, thought about the three. Elbow jumper up and it rolls in. Good display of the fast break by the Dream. They've done well at it all night. 62 to 54, Brandon McCluster with the ball. Finds Davenport over to Malamba, back to Davenport. Davenport drives in the paint, turn around, layup and it goes in. Blinks with the ball for the dream. Davenport, uh, three-pointer by the dream, and it is good. Terrell with the three-pointer. Thought there was going to be a foul on Davenport, but that's not the case. Nonetheless, Dubois gets a three-pointer. Cutting it to seven, 64-57. Malamba with the ball, finds Alford, but intercepted by Callejas. Ball was poked out by Alford, showing a good hustle.
Callejas looking to find the guy. He finds David Blanks on the inbound. Blanks takes a pass half court. Almost fell, but regains his footing. Finds Terrell on the right wing. Drives near the free throw line. Finds Dixon. Dixon thought about the three. Terrell will shoot it off the rim. Rebounded by Gray. Alabama's finest. Forgets it to Davenport. Finds Gray. Gray for three. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by McQuester. Another offensive rebound for the Jackals. Almost lost the ball, but recovers. Malama recovers the tip. Finds Davenport. Teardrop, and it's a swoosh Malamba with the assist. Dixon with the ball out for the dream. Fast and furious and draws a foul. Tried going coast to coast. Foul's going to be on Alford. And it's going to be an inbound for the dream. 8.56 left in the third quarter. 66 to 57. Jackals are ahead. Dixon with the inbound. Finds Blanks at the top of the key. Screen from Terrell. Foul's going to be on Gray. Fans don't agree with it, but the call's the call. Dixon inbounds a Blanks. Fakes a three. Tried to find Terrell, but he recovers his own pass and makes the shot. Making the score 66-59. McQuester with the ball for the Jackals. Blanks onto the fence. Finds Alford on the corner. Drives into the paint. Finds Gray. But it's a tough shot up blocked by Johnson. Malamba recovers the ball. And a slam! A jamma! Malamba having himself a busy game tonight. Terrell with the ball on the left wing. Finds Dixon. Thought about the three. Decides not to shoot it. Foul's going to be on Gray. Though it looked like he was arm checked by Blanks. Substitution, Xavier Chernak coming in for Gray. The coach turned player. Hassan Dixon with the inbound for the dream finds Callejas. Back to this, the Dixon, excuse me. Screen from Johnson. Dixon finds Blank shot off the rim, trying to get his own rebound. Johnson gets a block by Malamba. Dixon recovers. Excuse me, Davenport recovers and scores. Michael Davenport recovers the block shot, converts in the two, and will get a three-point play opportunity. Three-point play is good. 71-59, to 59, under eight minutes left in the third quarter. Terrell with the ball for the dream. Drives into the paint. Oh, no look pass to Johnson, but Dixon gets the rebound and scores. McQuester with the ball. Blanks on the defense. McQuester, 18-footer off the front of the rim. Recovered by Dixon for the dream. Dixon rapidly going to the court. Terrell thought about the three. 18-footer rattles off the rim. Malambo with the rebound. Davenport finds Alford. Alford displaying the hustle. Good defense by Callejas, recovered by Dixon. Dixon puts a shot up, and it goes in despite Malamba's defense. Dreams deficit cut back down to single digits, 71 to 63, seven minutes left in the third quarter. McQuester finds Davenport in the top of the key, screen from Malamba. Shot was blocked, Chernak recovers, free throw late jumper falls short. Recovered by Dixon for the dream, having himself a busy night, finds Johnson to Blanks, elbow length shot and it is good. Everybody touching the ball for Du Bois on that fast break. McQuester with the ball and draws a foul. Exactly. 
We have got a media timeout, 6.29 left in the third quarter. 71 to 65 in favor of the Jackals. Both teams picking up where they left off in the first half, displaying the hustle, finding the open lanes, and shooting the open shot, whether it's the layup or the three-pointer. This keeps up. It'll most likely come down to who gets the ball last. But we will wait and see as this game goes on. Another team in the NBA that could make a deep run in the playoffs, the Houston Rockets. Type of team that can live and die by the three-pointer, but they got a barrage of players who can nail them. James Harden, Trevor Ariza, Chris Paul, Eric Gordon, Ryan Anderson. They picked up Gerald Green, a couple 10-day contracts, and they signed him for the rest of the year because of his outstanding performance. We could see them in the semifinals, maybe even deeper to the NBA Finals. But we will wait and see as the rest of the NBA season goes along within the last few months of the season. Tyreek Jewell coming in for the Jackals. He will be inbounding the ball. Finds McQuester. Finds Alford on the wing. Finds Gray on the elbow. Back to McQuester. Turn around, jumper up off the back rim, gets his own rebound. And the shot is blocked by Dixon, wanting to join in the block of Palooza for Du Bois. Nonetheless, it's basically a fresh shot clock for the Jackals. 22 seconds left on it. Tyreek Jewell with the ball, finds McQuester on the, the corner, finds Gray. Back to Jewel to Alford, wing three off the front of the rim. Chernak with the rebound, shots off the glass. Varakayo with the rebound, finds Callejas. Back to Varakayo to Dixon. Everybody touching the ball for the boys. Screen from Johnson. Ball nearly stolen by Chernak. A little floater by Dixon off the rim, re rebounded by McQuester. McQuester finds Jewel. And a diamond in the rough. Assist from McQuester to Jewel. 73 to 65. Five and a half left in the third quarter. Dixon finds Varakayo to Callejas. Finds Dixon on the elbow to Johnson. The shot rattles around but goes in. McQuester with the ball past the center line. Finds Tyreek Jewel. Gray around the top of the key. McQuester on the left wing. Jewel on the right wing. Screen from Gray. Three seconds left in the shot clock. Puts it up. Off the back and oh. Looked like it was going to go in, but it doesn't. Rebounded by Dixon. Dixon driving into the paint. Goes back to the corner. Finds Johnson back to Dixon. Corner pocket shot off the rim, rebounded by Alford. Alford passed half court, looking for someone to pass to. Nita decides to take into his own hands. Shot's no good, rebounded by Jewel. Try to get a little fancy, but backfires. Callejas recovers the long pass. Elbow jumper up off the back of the rim. Chernak with the rebound once again. Finds the coach with the ball stolen by Dixon. Finds Blanks, and they get the fast break. Two points, 73 to 69. An 8 2 run for the Dream. Alford finds Gray in the top of the key. Over to Jewel. Screen from Chernak under 10 seconds of the shot clock. And Dixon's going to get fouled. Held on to Jewel for a little too long. Malamba and Davenport coming back in for Chernak and McQuester, both getting well-earned rests. Davenport inbounds the Jewel, finds Alford, 
turns around, finds Gray, left alone, 15-footer, and it goes in. Off the assist from Alford. Dixon with the ball, past the center line. Tried to find Callejas, ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Jackal's ball. Jewel with the ball for the Jackals, finds Davenport. Ball's tip, Gray catches it. Jewel left alone for three to top of the key. Off the front of the rim, Blanks with the rebound. Two on two, trying to get fancy. Jewel saves it, what a save by Jewel. Alford with the ball, alley-oop to Gray! Alabama approved on that alley-oop. 77 to 69, three minutes left in the third quarter. Varakayo for three, off the front of the rim, rebounded by Alford, finds Jewel. Jewel's pass is too high, goes out of bounds. Timeout's been called by Du Bois. 2.51 left in the third quarter. 77 to 69. Jackals are still ahead. Not too long ago, for any NFL fans, new inductees for the 2018 Hall of Fame class. Two members, first year eligible, from what we know, Brian Erlocker and Ray Lewis. Both played all their careers with their respective teams. Ray Lewis, the Baltimore Ravens. Brian Erlocker, the Chicago Bears. Lewis got two Super Bowl rings. Erlocker got to the Super Bowl, but they lost to the Indianapolis Colts. A vintage Green Bay Packer gets in, Jerry Kramer. He was an offensive lineman when the Packers won the first two Super Bowls in 67 and 68 when they had Bart Starr and Jim Taylor and all the classic throwbacks, as well as the coach, Vince Lombardi, who the trophy is named after. And with that, we are back in the action. 2.51 left in the third, 77-69. Jackals are ahead. Dixon with the ball for Du Bois. Finds Varakayo on the wing. Over to Terrell. Terrell finds Dixon, Varakayo on the corner. Thought about the three, finds Terrell. Terrell puts one up near the top of the key, rattles out, Alford with the rebound. Alford to the paint, free throw jumper, good! Lead back up the double digits for the Jackals, 79 to 69. Louis Condi with the ball for the Dream, stolen by Alford. It is showtime. We're gonna see a slam. Yes, we are. Jackals going on a mini run, 81 to 69. Nearing two minutes left in the third quarter. Varakayo drives into the paint, puts an elbow shot up off the rim. Rebounded by Malamba, having himself a game today. Jewel with the ball, hit off his foot, Gray recovers, and we will have a jump ball. Maybe not, timeout's been called by the Jackals in order to retain possession of the ball. Smart thinking to avoid a jump ball and or a travel. A minute 50 left in the third, 81 to 69, Jackals are still ahead. In spite of losing talent due to injury or retirement or any issues beyond their control, the Chicago Bulls are a team on the rebuilding phase of maybe getting back in the playoffs within the next upcoming seasons. Picking up Lori Markinen from Finland, a small forward who can shoot the three-pointer, they acquired Robin Lopez, who's a good presence crashing the boards and blocking the shots. 
Also for off the bench, Bobby Portis, who recently scored 38 points off the bench and nailing six three-pointers, setting career highs for right now as he's only 22 years old, so he's got a lot left in him. As we all know, Bobby Portis was the one that got into the fight with Nikola Mirotic that got him suspended for the first eight games of the season back before the season began. Even though all was forgiven, in the end, Miritich ends up getting traded to the Pelicans. And with that, just like a normal lifespan, life goes on. You all right? Do you need, if you need me to move, let me know. Davenport with the inbound for the Jackals. Finds Malamba on the elbow. What a pass to Davenport, but the shot's off. Rebounded by Terrell. Dixon with the ball for the dream. There's going to be a foul, and it's going to be on Davenport. Varakayo on the inbound for the Dream. Finds Dixon. Minute and a half left. Score remains 81-69. Lost the ball. Jewel picks it up. Jewel coast to coast. No good. Malamba tried to get the board, but it's caught out of the air by Dixon. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Shot is up. Doesn't go in, but he will be shooting two. Fouls on Davenport. First free throw attempt is good, making it 81 to 70. Marvin Harris coming in for the Du Bois dream in place of Trey Johnson. Johnson again earning himself a well-earned rest, working hard for the Du Bois dream in spite of falling behind currently. One of two once again for Dixon. Gray with the rebound, finds Tyreek Jewell, finds a trail offered on the wing. Drives into the paint, shot is up, and it goes in. Great display of patience by Alford. Varakayo with the ball now for the Du Bois. Finds Terrell on the corner, drives into the paint, elbow length, jumper up, and nothing but net. Beautiful shot by Terrell. Davenport has the ball for the Jackals, driving into the paint. Wild shot, but he's going to be shooting too. Foul's going to be on Varakayo. First free throw attempt by Davenport off the back of the rim. David Blanks coming back into the game in place of a Sin Dixon. Dixon earning himself a well-deserved rest as well. Another one of those bright stars for Du Bois. Second free throw attempt is good. One for two for Davenport. 84-72, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Blanks with the ball for Du Bois. Screen from Harris, drive into the paint. Shots up and a good display of using the screen by Blanks. Davenport with the ball now for the Jackals. 30 seconds left. Finds Malamba on the elbow. What a pass to Alford. Juggles, recovers, shot rattles out. But Jewel with the diamond in the rough offensive rebound. Condi with the ball for the Dream finds Terrell. 15 seconds left in the third. Almost lost the ball, but recovers and finds Blanks. Five seconds left in the third. Blanks has to do something quick. Finds Condi. Turn around, one-hander, no good. Rebounded by Malamba. And that's how the third quarter is going to end with your score the Jackals, 86. And the Dreams, 74.
as we are about to start this fourth quarter, both teams keeping the intensity that they had in the first half. This final quarter will be an interesting one indeed. To any fans here right now, you would want to stick around for the end of this game. And to anybody watching the live stream, you do not want to change your channel. Picking up where I left off about big men shooting three-pointers, there's plenty of them over the last couple of years that have been practicing it and have gotten really good at shooting the deep ball. A few examples being Brooke Lopez a couple of years ago. Never been known to shoot the three in his career until his last year with the Brooklyn Nets before he got traded to the Lakers. Another one, DeMarcus Cousins, when he was nearing the end of his tenure with the Kings and going on to the New Orleans Pelicans. Taj Gibson working on it a little bit with the Timberwolves. I'm guessing you're enjoying yourself, Denny. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, it's live. Keep going. All right, I'll take it. Good idea. Alford with the ball for the Jackals to start the fourth quarter. 86 to 74. Gray with the ball, hands it back to Alford. Finds a cutting Davenport. Goes out of bounds. It remains Jackals' ball. Davenport with the inbound finds Chernak. Gets Harris on the right wing. Harris finds Chernak, drives into the paint, finds Gray. Offensive foul on Gray. The shot will not count. Louis Condi with the ball for Du Bois. Picks up a screen from Varakayo. Finds him on the top of the key over to Terrell on the wing. Over to Marvin Harris. Shot's no good, but he will be shooting too. Foul's going to be on Chernak, but the shot was no good, and he will have to earn them from the line. First free throw attempt by Harris. Rattles around for a moment, but it goes in, making it 86-75. Second free throw attempt is good. Two for two for Marvin Harris, making it 86 to 76. Alford with the ball now for the Jackals, takes it past half court. He finds Gray on the top of the key, finds Davenport. Davenport thought about the three, throws a teardrop up off the back rim, gets his own rebound, finds Harris, left alone for three. Off the rim, Chernak tried getting the rebound, doesn't get it, but there's a foul. Foul's going to be on David Blanks, and it will remain Jackal's ball. Davenport on the inbound, finds Gray on the left wing. Back over to Davenport, trying to drive into the paint, gets no space, finds Alford. Alford has a free space, but the dunk is botched. Varakayo with the ball, wings it over. Tried finding Harris, but Chernak with a great job playing center fielder. Varakayo with the inbound for Du Bois. He better get it off quick. He finds Condi in time. Back to Varakayo, finds Blanks. Blanks for three. Off the rim. The pass is from DeAndre Terrell. 
There is a foul, and it's going to be on Chernak. He doesn't agree with the call. Varakayo at the inbound. He has to get it quick. Finds Marvin Harris back to Varakayo. Hands it off to Blanks. Blanks picks up a screen from Terrell. He finds Harris, and the shot's good despite defense from Malamba. Alford with the ball. Little over 10 minutes left in the game, 86 to 78. Chernak with it on the wing, finds Harris. Harris drives into the paint, finds Davenport. Davenport looking for his next move. Finds Alford. Alford for three. Off the rim. Rebounded by Marvin Harris. Varakayo with the ball now for Du Bois. Looking to cut further into the deficit. Finds Terrell back to Blanks. To Varakayo. Fakes the corner pocket three. Intercepted by Davenport. It's going to be a foot race. And Davenport wins. 88 to 78. Nine and a half left in the game. Louis Condi with the ball for Du Bois, screen from Terrell. Lost the ball on it. Foul's going to be on Alford. Some of the fans here aren't afraid to express their frustration. But in some leagues, if you push it to the limit, you get your pink slip. Varakayo at the inbound finds Condi. Ten seconds left in the shot clock. Condi tries to drive and draws a foul. It's going to be on Maceo Wolford. Varakayo at the inbound. Finds Blanks in the corner. Offensive foul on Blanks. Blanks does not like the call, but he needs to keep playing because he nearly got torched by Wolford. Wolford finds McCluster near the corner. Finds Malamba on the right elbow. Varakayo on the fence finds Harris. Harris drives into the paint, puts a shot up off the rim, rebounded by Trey Johnson. Blanks finds Terrell. Terrell drives into the paint. Wild shot. Malambo with another rebound. Finds Davenport. Davenport keeping a good pace. Offensive foul. Cody Crosby doesn't agree with it. Terrell with the inbound to Condi. Wolford on the defense, finds Blanks. Blanks driving into the paint, lost the ball, slides, but gets the ball away in time to avoid travel. Terrell with a shot off the back of the rim. Malamba with another rebound, finds McQuester. McQuester to the paint, tried to go coast to coast, but Varakayo, with good hustle, strips the ball away to avoid the two points. Corey Callejas coming back in for the dream in place of DeAndre Terrell. Wolford inbounds to Davenport. Finds Harris on the wing. Wolford thought about a key three. Finds McQuester. Wing three-pointer. Bang! <laughs> McQuester with the trifecta. You betcha. Off the assist from Wolford. 91 to 78, eight minutes left in the game. Condi with the ball, finds Varakayo, looking to answer back. Off the back of the rim, Harris with the rebound. Finds Davenport, and it goes in. Callejas with the ball, past the center line. Picks a screen up from Trey Johnson, finds Blanks. Blanks, free throw range jumper off the front of the rim. Wolford with the rebound. Wolford takes it past the center line. 
puts up a shot, and it goes in. Nothing but net. The off-balance corner mid-ranger. Timeout's been called by the Dream. 7.25 left in the game. 95 to 78. Your Jackals are ahead. As the NBA season, the regular season drawing to a close, a couple teams besides the Bulls are in rebuilding phases, one of them especially being the Los Angeles Lakers ever since Kobe Bryant's retirement. And even when he was on the IR for much of his final years, they were on the decline after winning their titles during the Shaq-Kobe era and after when Shaq was gone. However, with the drafting of potential all-star Lonzo Ball, the acquisition of Brooke Lopez, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, we could see something in the making over the next couple of seasons. One potential guy they ended up trading away to the Cavaliers on that blockbuster trade before the all-star break, Larry Nance Jr., Going to the Cavaliers, he's already looking good for them, averaging just a little under 10 points a game, more than what he ever averaged in L.A. Hassan Dixon with the inbound for the Dream. 7.25 left in the game, 95 to 78. Jackals ahead, Varakayo receives the inbound pass. Back to Dixon. Screen from Trey Johnson, drives into the paint. Shot is off, but the tip drill by Johnson goes in. Trey Johnson having himself a busy night for Du Bois. Davenport with the ball for the Jackals, gets it to Wolford. Wolford finds McCluster on the right wing. Wolford tried to do a cut, but didn't get the ball. Deep three-pointer, bang! Once again, Brandon McCluster from downtown. And that was a good foot and a half, two feet from behind the line. Dixon with the ball, now for the dream, finds Varakayo. Varakayo looking to find some space. Ball caught here by Johnson. Condi with it now. Free throw range jumper, and it is in. Maceo Wolford with the ball. Past half court already. Not slowing down. Deep two-pointer. Off the rim, Malamba with another rebound. And the foul is going to be on Malamba. Alford coming back in for Wolford. Wolford with some good quality minutes off the bench today. Having a little technical difficulties here right now. Probably some moisture on the floor. An NBA game not too long ago was postponed due to moisture on the court. Probably due to some heavy rain seeping in to the top of the dome. Nonetheless, 98 to 82, 618 left in the game. Dixon inbounds to Condi. Alford on the defense, Condi breaks half court, finds Dixon, Dixon drives into the paint, 
blocked by Malambo once again. Having a block party tonight finds McQuester to Harris. Put that two on the board. Your Jackals have broken the century mark. 182. Under six minutes. Lombo with another block, but Trey Johnson recovers the ball and scores. Alford with the ball for the Jackals. Turns a double screen down. Finds Davenport. Over to McQuester. Screen from Davenport. McQuester with another three-pointer. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Dixon. Another Du Bois player having a busy night. Finds Callejas. Wing three, nothing but net. 187, five minutes left in the game. Far from over. Alford with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Harris. Three ball quarter pocket. Rattles off the rim. McQuester with the board and draws the foul. First free throw attempt by McQuester is good. Couple of substitutions, Jewel and Gray coming back in for the Jackals in place of Malamba and Davenport. Both have had great games today. Second free throw by McQuester, two for two for number two. 102 to 87, under five minutes left in the game. Dixon with the ball for Du Bois. Did a little spin, finds Callejas. Wing three-pointer off the front of the rim, rebounded by Alford. Alford takes a pass half into the paint, goes coast to coast and succeeds. Ball nearly stolen by Harris, but Condi manages to recover. Go, throws a tough shot up, gets his own rebound, but misses both. McCluster with the ball, finds Harris, and an easy two points. An easy two points off the fast break. Dixon with the ball for Du Bois. Screen from Johnson. Into the paint, shot is up and goes in. Jewel with the ball for the Jackals. Alford gets a screen from Harris. Finds Jewel, three-pointer off the back rim. Rebound by Alford, and it goes in. The shot will count. Alford will get a three-point play opportunity. Foul's going to be on Condi. David Blanks coming back in through Du Bois. Three-point play off the back of the rim. Dixon with the ball for the dream, bolting to the court, finds Callejas corner pocket off the rim. Dixon with the rebound, nice shot fake, and the shot's off the front, but he'll be shooting too. Dixon will be shooting two for Du Bois. First free throw attempt is a nothing but net swusher, making the score 108 to 90. 336 left in the game. Second free throw attempt by Dixon is good. Two for two for Dixon. 108 to 91. Alford with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Damian Harris. Callejas on the defense. Finds McCluster in the wing. What a pass to Jewel collided with Varakayo. Once again tonight, the Jackals bench players making great production when they've gotten their minutes. 
It's happened every game for them at home this season. Jewel's first free throw attempt is good, making the score 109 to 91, 320 left in the game. Second free throw attempt by Jewel is good. Two for two for Jewel, 110 to 91. Dixon with the ball, rapidly drives the paint, blocked by the coach, Lee Gray. McQuester with the ball. McQuester took a fall, but he's able to get up. Brandon McCluster with the free throw and the shot is good. Both free throws from McCluster are good, making the score 112 to 91. About to be another set of substitutions for Du Bois. Marvin Harris and Sam Roselli. Coming in for Corey Callejas and Trey Johnson. Harris with the inbound for the Jackals. Finds McQuester. McQuester finds Jewel. Screen from Alford. Varakayo was a football. Alford all alone with a slam dunk. A posterize of Marvin Harris. That is a Sports Center top 10 worthy play. Dixon with the ball, puts a three pointer up, rattles off the rim, rebounded by Gray. Finds McQuester. McQuester thought about the three, drives the paint, blocked by Varakayo. Decides to hit it off McQuester. Some big questions that have been going on, which will be for the next couple months as well. The upcoming NFL draft. Bunch of several quarterbacks on the draft board. One of them being Sam Darnold from USC. Josh Rosen from UCLA. Some teams that are desperate to aim for a quarterback. Cleveland Browns are most likely interested in drafting one. And other teams that are looking, possibly the Buffalo Bills are looking for one. There, Many of them don't want... Tyrod Taylor to stick around fan base wise and or team base wise depending on whoever feels what but some possible availabilities pending trade or free agency or anything else Case Keenum from the Vikings Nick Foles who was recently the Super Bowl champion who beat the Patriots 41 to 33, throwing for 375 yards. Come March 14th, he can be available to be traded. He does have one year left on his current contract. Teddy Bridgewater could be a possibility too, in spite of the knee injury he suffered two seasons ago. Varakayo with the inbound for Du Bois finds Condi. 225 left in the game, 114 to 91. Screen from Varakayo. McCluster was not fooled. Finds Blanks. Screen from Harris. Gray on the defense. Blanks almost lost the ball but recovers. Drives into the paint. Shot too strong. The rebound was by Harris and the foul's drawn. It's going to be on McCluster. One of two third-year jackals on this team, the other one being Michael Davenport. Harris will be shooting two for Du Bois. First free throw attempt is good, making it 114 to 92. 208 left. Free throw number two for Harris. 
Shot is up and it's good. Two for two for Harris. 114 to 93. Two minutes left in this game. Harris with the ball for the Jackals. Finds Gray around the top of the key. Over to Jewel. Jewel finds Alford. Three pointer. Bang! Off the diamond in the rough assist from Jewel. 117 93. Condi with the ball for Du Bois. Drives it past half court. Ball caught out of the air by Jewel. Jewel finds McQuester into the paint, puts a shot up, blocked by Roselli. Ball almost rolls out of bounds, but Blanks recovers it in time. Ball off, off of Jewel's foot. It's going to be a loose ball foul on David Blanks. And it's going to be free throws for Tyreek Jewell. <clears throat> One minute, 25 seconds left in this game. Score 117 to 93. First free throw attempt by Jewel. Hits off the back rim and on the glass. Jewel's second free throw attempt is good. One for two for Tyreek Jewel. 118 to 93. Blanks receives the inbound from Varakayo. Pass half court. Harris onto the fence. Screen from Varakayo. Finds Harris on the free throw line. Grand the fence. Turn around. Tear drop. No good. Rebounded by Alford. What a night he's had. The jewel to Harris. And he makes the shot. 120 to 93. Varakayo inbounds to Roselli. Back to Varakayo. Past half court. One minute left in the game. Screen from Roselli. Looking to find somebody. Gets it to Harris. Harris looking for somebody, can't find no one, finds Varakayo. Screen from Harris, ball popped out. Long three-pointer and it falls short. 24 second shot clock violation. 40 seconds left, 120 to 93, Jackals are ahead. Their 16 second difference, three pointer, bang! And that is an exclamation point for this game for the Jackals. Varakayo thought about the three. Looking to find someone to pass to, screen from Harris. Try to find Harris on the pick and roll, doesn't work. Jewel with the ball, and he can just run the clock out. And that is the end of this game. Jackals use a big second half run and have won this game 123 to 93. Once the Jackals got onto their run, they turned on the gas and kept the intensity going, but the Du Bois dream were able to hang in for as much as they could. So with that, we can tip our hats to them for that. On behalf of everyone here at the Phys Ed Center at JCC, Integrity First, and the Jamestown Jackals, I'm Norm Rodriguez signing off. Have a good night, everybody.